Okay, the next step in the process that we want to look at is getting our photos uploaded to Picasa. So I'm going to take you through the steps on that one. Um, best way to do that is to go ahead and log in to your Gmail. Because Picasa is a, a portion of, it's a subsidiary of Google, they're affiliated. You just look at the top bar here, it says Photos. I can simply click on Photos and then Picasa will come up. Now, if you this is the first time you've logged into Picasa, it will ask you to create a username. It's this it's your your Google sign in, Google password, everything's the same. So go ahead and do that. If a button comes up in the middle section that says launch Picasa, do not click that. We don't need to download Picasa and run the a program from the the computer. We can do everything simply by coming up to the top where it says Upload. So you're looking for Upload. Click on that. And by the way, you notice I'm using Google Chrome to do this. There's been a glitch with Firefox, so please use Google Chrome. Otherwise, uh, you won't get much further than the screen that I'm on now. So definitely make sure you're using Chrome. Um, once you get into the, the Upload where it says Album Name, this is where you can decide how you want to have your your photos taken care of if you want to call this first project if you want to call it uh, just photography and dump all your photos in there I'm gonna let you get it, you guys decide on file management for that aspect but I think uh, myself I would personally recommend naming them by the uh, each individual project so project name whatever you want to do now notice it does say you can drag your photos in or you can hit the blue bar I like to hit that blue bar. It's kind of fun. So I hit that. Then I'm going to go up to my documents, my pictures. And remember, I put my photos in Langley J, so I'm looking for Langley J. And then I'm going to put the pictures in that I want. And I can grab multiple pictures, so you don't have to do them one at a time. It's okay if I do a bunch of them. And then I'm going to hit open. Now, notice that I've got the blue bars going across as it uploads so as soon as they're done I'll be able to see thumbnails on those okay we've got thumbnails we have the choice if we want to upload more or if we're done we just come over to the bottom right and we click OK okay after they come in go ahead and click on one I want you guys to kinda of take a look and see what we're looking at here over on the right hand side you see a section that says photo reuse and this has to do with the Creative Commons we talked about copyright last week so just to kind of put that in perspective for you um, go, I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit so you can see what we're going on the Creative Commons has to do with how other people are allowed to sh uh, to reuse our photos so we're sharing our photos now in this case the default and this is the one that I typically use the default is allow reuse now what that means is people are allowed to use your photos but they have to give you credit so anytime they use it whether it's the web if it's in a, um, any kind of format they have to give you credit so um, called attribution so photo by John Langley next up down is allow remixing that means that you say it's a, if you check that when you say it's okay for people to Photoshop your your uh, photo now I generally don't do that unless it's a photo that I'm totally okay with that and then the next option down allow commercial use I generally don't do that one either but if you know if you want other businesses to be able to use it you can but that allows them to use it without requesting any kind of uh, uh, payment that you would get that you'd basically give them free reign to use it so you know, I feel like if a business wants to use my photo that we need to go through a different kind of process so I leave that unchecked the share alike that's kind of cool this one if you do allow remixing on a photo and you have share alike that means only people uh, that have those same settings on their photos are allowed to use your photos so if they want to reuse a photo that you have clicked allow remixing as long as they allow remixing on their photos they can use yours and okay? they still have to give the the attribution okay again the default is already set on allow reuse creative commons with none of those checked so my recommendation is just leave it blank just like that okay that takes care of this step we have our photos in there so kinda get all your photos set up and then we'll be ready for the final step